Welcome to the Blockchain Basement. I'm Drew, always bringing you the truth. It sounds like Tucker Carlson dropped some truth bombs overnight. Let's have a listen and see what we think of this. I, I think that demanding open source or free software voting like code like AGPL3, so at least we can look at the code. It doesn't mean that people can't hack into it, and that, that might still be an issue, but at least we know that the machines are doing what they're supposed to do, if we're going to use those. Yeah, I mean, no serious country, no country serious about democracy would ever use an electronic voting machine, and many don't. Um, because anything digital could be manipulated. Look at Wikipedia. Hmm. Oh, Look at the internet, where entire map. portions of history are now gone. Um, so I would, I mean, I would just demand that we have no electronic voting machines. Why would you even want to worry about that? All right, there's a lot to unpack there with what was just discussed. Now we have one side of the aisle. There is great hope for open source technologies that could be utilized if implemented to help the voting process be more transparent, be more trustworthy. Obviously, there's a large contingent across America that has left the last electoral process with not so fuzzy feelings about making sure that their vote is counted. Tucker is bringing out the very real reality that the powers that be are likely not going to give this power up easily. And it is up to us in the United States. We have a lot of power still on the community level, on the state legislature level, to actually push these things into process. But it's going to take a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of lobbying. It's going to take a lot of public awareness about the capabilities of the tech in the first place to even have a fighting chance in this cataclysmic reach. Another thing that's very interesting to think about is Tucker is putting a lot of value into paper counted ballots. Now, what we saw in the last election was a trove of video evidence showing that paper ballots were also manipulated. Does that really solve the issue? What we need is a open source, transparent, and immutable system of elections. Tucker Carlson, he brings up some really good points brings up the fact that there was a large amount of digital book burning during the last three years with the likes of Robert Malone. There is the strong potential that that will continue in the future as we've seen with Wikipedia and the likes thereof. Let me know in the comments what you think. Should the U.S. move to a blockchain-based voting system or would paper ballots be the solution for what we've seen over the past election cycle? And also, don't forget to smash the like if you love your freedom and spread the message. We cover a lot of macroeconomics and crypto-related news day-to-day. -day. Make sure you're catching all the alpha as it's coming out, and we'll see you soon.